Hello, YouTubers and modern community. Pokestars back again. For those of you that seen a, a slight video of the 55 on my first videos three months ago, and for those of you that haven't seen the 55 pickup yet, I'm going to give you just a quick uh, close look at it. It was a cameo. I put a, I built a step side for it. I still have the cameo sides for guys out there that want a, a cameo pickup. Once I get to that point where I'm going to mold the body, I'll offer a, a step side or a cameo. I'm going to redo the uh, tailgate. Tailgate looks a little generic. So I'm going to make that look more like a 55 tailgate. Uh, guys, I bought this uh, 112 scale 55 back in the 90s from a Spanish uh, 99 cent store. It was in their uh, damaged goods basket. It was an RC car. So uh, I picked it up for five bucks. Not a bad investment. Uh, the roof's been chopped uh, slightly. I'm just kind of giving it a little custom touches here and there but it still looks like a 55 but it's got just that that slight change to it but nothing too dra uh, dram dramatic too many of these in there but anyways uh, it's got that California style look with the uh, visor that came with the body when I first bought this RC car I'm working on a suspension Give a quick peek at the uh, suspension. Making a Mustang 2 style front end. Uh, right now the upper and lower control arms will move up and down. I'm trying to come up with a, a way to make them go down and stay down and come up and stay up. So I want to be able to set this in three wheel motion. This had a model show. Uh, right now it's laying on the frame. Uh, the 1957 Chevy Dash fits inside this uh, truck just perfect. I didn't have to modify it or anything. Uh, one of the other videos that I put up of the windshield, I kind of muffed up when I did that video. But uh, I took some uh, styrene plastic. I used a heat gun at work to get the desired contour of the windshield. Once I got the styrene to fit in her just right. Uh, what I did was I mixed up a bunch of uh, body filler, Bondo, and this made it look like a glob of Bondo. Uh, once I took the styrene and mixed up a bunch of Bondo and submerged it between two pieces of uh, globs of Bondo, and once it dried, I cut along the edges and popped it loose and that gave me the con the uh, the mold for the windshield uh, once I did that I took some clear plastic uh, set this piece in the oven along with some clear plastic above it and once the plastic got to its uh, melting point where it started to droop I set the plastic over that piece and the other piece I took and I submerged that over that and once it got to the point where I can squeeze the two halves together, hold it there for about 10 minutes, uh, put some cool water down it, and once I pull the uh, pieces apart, then I had my my windshield mold. I just popped the plastic out of there and I just gotta trim it. Uh, tricks of the trades, that's what I've been doing for you know a long time. That's if you guys got a windshield you guys want to repair one you can do it just glue the two halves back together sand them down smooth to where there's no seam mix up some bondo get that seam as smooth as possible then once you uh, mix up your bondo to make your copy on this edge here make sure this is perfectly smooth I hit this thing with 1500 2000 3000 wet sand that thing like for 10 hours both sides uh, that way you can have a nice clear windshield with no scratches or pits or holes or anything
And as for the uh, the truck that may be a resin body here in the next several months down the road, I'm going to give you guys a teaser on a 55. As you can see, the front bumper, I think that looks real good. It's nice and tight, looks custom, but yeah, it looks kind of stock. I'm going to take care of this issue here. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of freaking me out. It doesn't look right. I'm going to add the, uh, the fender well lifts in there all the way down and towards the rear and back. Then I can, then I'm pretty much done with all the body work. Uh, the rear bumper with the tail lights in there. I think that looks pretty killer. Uh, one thing I want to do, guys, is uh, there's so many things that can be done with this 55 gasser, totally bone stock, autocross style, lowrider. You know, I can see this thing on a contest table with the lowrider community. Candy paints with a lace roof, Dayton's. I wish I had a set of Dayton's on this thing so I can set it up in the air. Right now it looks like a 1970s uh, style lowrider, primer lowrider. <clears throat> uh, I set this on the 55 and it got my, my blood pumping. I'm like, man, that totally changed the design of the car. For those guys that want to do a custom lowrider, it's not sitting on it just right, but uh, you guys can see where I'm getting at. But just with that visor, that thing looks sick. But yeah, I had to take a break from the uh, 69 Nova with the front end issues. I got to cut and add plastic, cut and add plastic, and I'm just taking a break from that. Concentrating on getting a 55 squared away, get it done. I'm so close on getting it molded and casted. I want to build my own. I know what you guys are feeling, how long you guys have been waiting for a 55 body, something different. Uh, this is going to change the modeling world like you wouldn't believe. Uh, my brother Rich is like, I want one of the first ones to come out of the mold. <laughs> but guys, just uh, hang on just a little bit longer. Not too long. All the hard work's been done. I think some guys out there that can build a, a brass uh, grill. And the headlight buckets from the... Uh, see if I didn't lose it. I think it's sitting underneath the body. Yep. Anyways, the headlight bucket fits inside the front fenders. Oh, here it is. Like I said, this came out of a 1-8 scale T-bucket. Here's a headlight bucket. It's camera shy. Doesn't want to go in. But you can see where I'm getting at. It fits right in there. So the headlight buckets, the tail light bucket, or the tail light lens, all the hard work is done. Just some uh, adding material to the uh, rear package tray and trimming the uh, door panels. Guys, you guys are gonna build some mean machines. So just stay tuned. You guys hold on just a little bit longer. Oh, not too long. I'll get some bodies posted up. And uh, hope to see some bad looking mean machines. I mean, that visor has got my heart going. Da -dump, da -dump, da -dump, da -dump, da -dump. And I can already see, you know, custom candy paint job on that car right now. Even with the big wheels in the back, front end down a little bit, blower sticking out of the hood. 
God, I, I just want to build my own. When I build my own, guys, it's already laying frame, but I want it lower. So, thanks for checking out my builds, and uh, you guys just hang on just a little bit longer, and uh, before you know it, you're going to be like, damn, where's my wallet? Where's my credit card? <laughs> Y'all you have a good day. Thanks for checking out my builds. Thumbs up to you guys' builds and videos and comments, and it'll be there. <laughs>